Hi everyone. Now we will talk about NG if directive in Angular. So first we will discuss what is NG if directive. Then we will see how we can use condition with NG if directive. How we can put multiple conditions with the NG if directive. And we will see one example of if else condition also. And at last we will discuss some important interview questions related to NG if directive. This is our playlist for Angular 19 tutorials and that will definitely help you out for Angular job project interviews. You can access this playlist from description box of this part. Okay, so one more thing guys. So if you are not aware like what is directive and why we use them, types of directive and all, then you can watch video number 27 in this playlist. There I explained everything about directives, examples, types and everything that you need to know about directives. Alright, okay. So now the question is what is ng if directive? See this is a uh, structural directive in Angular and which is used to modify the UI of a, uh, you can say that your application. For example, if you want to hide something or show or you want to toggle something on your HTML page uh, in Angular, then you can use ng if directive, right? And this is work like a if else condition and conditional statements. How we can use it? Let me give you one example. So for example, uh, you have there one h1 tag and there you mentioned heading one, right? And there you have one flag also show. And if the, its value is true, then you have to display this and if its value is uh, you can say that false then you have to hide this all right then how we can do that and how we can use ng if uh, for a condition to hide show or toggle this h1 element okay so first let me give you example without a button click after that i'll give you example with a button click also okay so let's take there star ng if and there you have to check show if the value of show is true then definitely uh, this will be visible otherwise this will be height so this will not be visible and one more thing before using their uh, ng if you have to import it in imports so just use their ng if and you have to import it from the angular common package okay now you will see this is properly visible there no issue and if i just make it false then you can see this is hidden from here and same thing let's try to do on the button click and let me put there toggle heading right and there I'm calling a button uh, uh, there I'm calling a event function on event and function name is let's say toggle right and in this toggle what I'll do I'll simply put a condition there this dot show equal to opposite of this dot uh, this dot show that means if this is uh, false then it will uh, become true and if this is true then it will become false and here we go here you can see that right so this is how we can use ng if a simple statement but let's say you have one another scenario right and that scenario is you have some headings let's say uh, let me just comment out this one right uh, we don't need this code for second example and there i have heading one and there have some other heading tools also two and then third one and fourth like this let me give there second then third and there we have fourth one but you want to uh, display them only one at a time not all of these then how you can do that then you have to take a condition maybe like if uh, id 1 is enabled then we have to show first one if id 2 is uh, enabled then we have to show this one then let me take you one uh, if you want you can comment out this function also okay and now what i need to do i will just create one more one more property and its name is block and its by default value is one for example and what i want to do there i want to sh do one thing putting a star there ng star if and if uh, uh, block value is one then it should be display and if block value two if we have value block uh, value of block property two then it should be visible second one if we have value three then third one and if we have value four then fourth one should be visible 
all right and now on a button click again uh, on the button click we have to change the block then put let me change uh, put there a function uh, update block well right like this and there what I'll do this dot block plus plus it will just give an increment to this right now you can see that okay so yeah so right now you can see that heading one is visible if I just click on this toggle button the value of block two block will be two then three and then four it will be increased by one here you can see that right this is how we can increase it perfect okay so now the last example uh, let's say you have to uh, you have to show the uh, login and logout functionality right then you have the two buttons there first button for login and another one for you can say that logout log out and we know that uh, at a one time only one thing can be visible either user can log out or other either user can log in the both cannot be at, at the same time so there again I am just um, commenting out these things um, I will take one more more property login is true if login is true then what we need to show there then in that case we have to show their logout right because after login user what can what user can do he can be logout so what I'll do there uh, star ng if and if the login is true right if login is true let me just comment out for a moment then it should be visible and if here you can see that if the uh, logout is false then it should be hidden there okay but I want to show the different button uh, if logout is false which is uh, login then how we can do that so for that you can put a else condition else and you can mention uh, it should be inside only the quotes uh, block else block I can mention else block and that should be visible on the on only on the else condition so there what I'll do I will use their ng template and inside this I will take logout button or you can see that login button better and there I'll check I will I have to put their ID else block you can give any name to it right and now you can see that we have the login button so if I just again make it true then there is a login so I want to toggle this value on the button click then how I can do uh, let me just create a function uh, login toggle or something right so there what I will do this dot login should be opposite of login if this is true then it will become false and if this is false then it will be true and when we will call this function definitely on the button click so let me put there a click event also click yeah like this and same I can do with the this button click also and now you will see if I just click on the logout then there is a login and if I just this is a login then it will be logout so this is toggling right okay so this is how we can use ng if directive in example they can ask how we can put if else condition or how we can put multiple condition with the ng if that's all for this part if you have any doubt confusion you can ask me in the comment section thank you so much for watching this part please like this video subscribe my channel comment your feedback and this is my paytm and gpay donation number thanks everyone